Hello there, and welcome to today's video on testosterone and aging. As we get older, our bodies go through a lot of changes, and one of those changes involves our hormone levels. Testosterone is a hormone that is crucial for both men and women, playing a role in everything from muscle mass to sex drive. But as we age, our testosterone levels naturally start to decline. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at what testosterone is, why it's important, and how its levels change as we age. We'll also explore the potential implications of low testosterone levels in older adults and discuss some of the treatment options available. So if you're interested in learning more about this fascinating topic, then stick around. We've got a lot to cover. Testosterone, my friends, is like the VIP of hormones. It's the hormone that makes you feel like a rock star, confident, strong, and ready to take on the world. And it's not just for the dudes, ladies. Testosterone is important for you, too. It helps maintain muscle mass, bone density, and even contributes to your sex drive. When we're young, testosterone levels are high, and that's when we start to see the development of those stereotypical male characteristics. It's like a superhero origin story, but instead of being bitten by a radioactive spider, we're just getting a surge of testosterone. So, let's break down the role of testosterone in these characteristics a bit more. First up, muscle mass. Testosterone plays a big role in the development and maintenance of muscle mass. That's why when we see bodybuilders with bulging biceps and chiseled abs, we know that testosterone is at least partially responsible. And hey, I'm not saying you need to hit the gym every day and lift weights until your arms feel like spaghetti, but if you want to maintain your muscle mass as you age, it's important to keep your testosterone levels in check. Next, bone density. This might not be the sexiest topic, but it's important nonetheless. As we age, our bones become more fragile and prone to fractures, but testosterone can help to combat this. It helps to maintain bone density, keeping our bones strong and healthy. So the next time you're doing a bone density scan and feeling a little self-conscious, just remember that testosterone has your back, or your bones, rather. And finally, body hair. This might seem like a strange one, but testosterone plays a role here too. It's responsible for the growth and distribution of body hair, which is why men tend to have more hair than women. But hey, if you're not a fan of body hair, there are plenty of ways to remove it, so don't worry too much. But here's a catch. Your testosterone production won't be the same as always. When we're young, our bodies are like testosterone factories, churning out hormones like there's no tomorrow. But as we age, the production slows down and the levels start to decline. Before you go, make sure to check out the link in the description below. It's packed full of extra resources, tips, and tricks to help you stay on top of your testosterone game. Trust us, you won't want to miss out on this one. So go ahead and give it a click. We promise it'll be worth your while. But why does this happen? Well, it's a natural part of the aging process. As we get older, our bodies start to slow down, and our hormone production is no exception. Additionally, there are a number of lifestyle factors that can contribute to declining testosterone levels, such as a poor diet, lack of exercise, and excessive stress. So what does this decline in testosterone mean for us? Well, it can lead to a number of symptoms, such as decreased muscle mass, decreased bone density, and even decreased sex drive. But don't worry, there are ways to combat these symptoms and help boost your testosterone levels, such as regular exercise, a healthy diet, and even hormone replacement therapy. Okay, so we've talked about how testosterone levels decline as we age, but here's the kicker. It's not the same for everyone. That's right, folks. Some people might experience a more pronounced decline in testosterone levels than others. It's like a cruel lottery, and we never know what we're going to get. But fear not, because there are factors that can influence this decline, such as genetics, lifestyle, and medical conditions. Let's start with genetics. Unfortunately, some of us are just predisposed to having lower testosterone levels. It's like we got a bad roll of the genetic dice. But hey, that doesn't mean we're doomed to a life of low testosterone. It just means we might have to work a little harder to maintain healthy levels. Next up, lifestyle factors. This is where we can really take control of our testosterone levels. Things like regular exercise, a healthy diet, and getting enough sleep can all help to maintain healthy testosterone levels. On the other hand, unhealthy habits like smoking and excessive alcohol consumption can contribute to declining testosterone levels. And finally, medical conditions. 
Unfortunately, there are some medical conditions that can contribute to declining testosterone levels, such as obesity, diabetes, and certain autoimmune diseases. But the good news is that these conditions can often be managed with medication and lifestyle changes. Before we dive any deeper, do us a quick favor and hit that subscribe button and give this video a like. Not only will it make our day, but it'll also help us create more content that you love. And who doesn't love more of that, am I right? So go ahead, hit that button, and let's keep this conversation going. Now that you know this much about testosterone and aging, you have to know about the symptoms that can result from low testosterone levels. I'm not trying to scare you, but these symptoms can be pretty gnarly. We're talking fatigue, decreased sex drive, and reduced muscle mass. First up, let's talk about fatigue. This is like the kryptonite of the superhero world. When we're feeling fatigued, we just don't have the energy to do the things we love. It's like we're walking through molasses. And unfortunately, low testosterone levels can contribute to fatigue. On the second one, we have decreased sex drive. Now, I don't need to explain to you why this is a bummer. Let's just say that when the mood strikes, we want our bodies to be on board. But when we're dealing with low testosterone levels, our sex drive can take a hit. Reduced muscle mass. This one might not sound as bad, but trust me, it's a big deal. When we're losing muscle mass, we're losing strength and mobility. After all that rough talk now, let's get to the good stuff. The treatment options. Because let's be real, we want to feel like superheroes again, right? Hormone replacement therapy. Now this might sound scary, but it's actually a pretty common and effective treatment for low testosterone levels. It's like we're getting a little boost from our friendly neighborhood endocrinologist. They can prescribe testosterone in various forms, such as injections, gels, or patches. It's like we're getting a little superpower injection to our bodies. 2. Lifestyle changes. This is where we can really take control of our bodies and feel like superheroes again. Things like regular exercise, a healthy diet, and getting enough sleep can all contribute to maintaining healthy testosterone levels. It's like we're getting a superpower boost from our own hard work and dedication. 3. Stress Reduction Techniques Stress can wreak havoc on our bodies and contribute to declining testosterone levels. So things like meditation, yoga, or even just taking a break to do something we love can help to reduce stress and boost our testosterone levels. It's like we're taking a little mental four. Getting regular checkups and screenings. Sometimes, low testosterone levels can be a sign of an underlying medical condition. So it's important to get checked out by a healthcare professional. It's like we're getting a little checkup from our superhero team to make sure we're operating at our full potential. All right, before we go rushing off to get our superhero treatments, let's talk about the potential risks and benefits, because we want to make sure we're making informed decisions, right? Let's talk about the benefits. Testosterone replacement therapy can lead to increased muscle mass, improved bone density, and higher energy levels. It's like we're getting a little boost of superhero power to help us take on the world. And lifestyle changes can lead to overall improved health and well-being, which is always a plus. But with great power comes great responsibility, as they say. There are potential risks to these treatments, which is why it's important to talk to a healthcare provider before starting any treatment. Hormone replacement therapy can increase the risk of blood clots, stroke, and prostate cancer in some men. It's like we're putting on our superhero suit, but we want to make sure it's made of the right material, you know what I mean? And let's not forget about the risks associated with lifestyle changes. Starting a new exercise regimen without proper guidance can lead to injury, and changing our diet without the proper knowledge can lead to nutrient deficiencies. It's like we're training to be superheroes, but we need to make sure we have the right training and gear to do it safely. So folks, the bottom line is that there are potential risks and benefits to these treatments, and it's important to talk to a healthcare provider to determine the best course of action for each individual. It's like we're forming our own superhero team with our healthcare provider as our captain. Together, we can conquer the evil forces of low testosterone and feel like superheroes again. All right, that's a wrap on our discussion about testosterone and aging. We hope you learned something new and found it entertaining as well. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And be sure to tune in for our next video, where we'll be discussing the truth about testosterone boosters and whether they really work. Until next time, stay healthy and stay curious.